Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is African Crab. I am so sorry for not uploading part three of how to crochet a mega raster term. I have been overwhelmed with work. Pretty much I've had custom order after custom order from a lot of my clients and it's just been crazy busy so I really want to apologize but today I have found a little bit of time on my hands so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add a brim onto your raster term. The last time, uh, at the end of part two, your work should be looking like this. I went ahead and added a, a string. You don't need to add a string yet, but this is pretty much what your work should be looking like at this stage. And what we're going to do is go ahead and add um, our brim to it. You should have completed two rounds of single crochet around for round 20 and 21, and you should have a total of 60 stitches. So if you put your work just like that, you should have 30 stitches on the left, on the back side and 30 stitches on the front side. We are going to work in between. So if you count six stitches from the right to the left and six stitches from the left to the right, you should have a total of 18 stitches in the middle. And that's what we are going to work with. We are going to go ahead and work I'm going to continue using the six millimeter hook. You can change if you have loose tension to a 5.5 millimeter to give you a better tension, but you do need tension in order for the brim to work. And we will be working with two strands of uh, black yarn. I'm going to continue with my black. You don't need two skins of black yarn. If you have just one, uh, go ahead and work with the inside strand and the outside strand and you'll basically have two, okay? So let's go ahead and start that and I'm not sure if you can see me. Let me go ahead and move up so you can see. I'm using my iPhone so bear with me. So let me put this a little high. So we're going to count um, one, two, three, four, five and six and you're going to put your hook in the seventh stitch and we're going to go ahead and attach the double strand. Go ahead and pull it from the back side and make a single crochet and then go ahead and tag onto this straggler at the back here really tight. Chain one and this chain one is going to act as your first stitch. Go ahead and work 17 single stitches in each of the next stitches. Okay, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen and eighteen. Chain one and you walk around and we are going to work in the back stitch okay we all know if you know the basics in crochets that you have two sides of your work the front and the back and we're going to work in the back stitches so your chain one again is acting as your first stitch go ahead and work one single stitch in the next stitch work two single stitches in the next, work one stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and two single crochets in the next stitch. So we're going to work, you're going to have a repetitive pat pattern of two and two two single crochets, I'm sorry, one single crochet in the first two and two single crochets in the next, okay? So one single crochet, one single crochet in the next and then two single crochets in the next stitch. Keep in mind that your tension has to be really tight. Try to make it tight, okay? If you use a loose stitch like I do here, go ahead and wrap a few more around your 
hand in order to create the tension and this will help okay one single crochet in the next one single crochet in the next and two single crochets in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch two single crochets in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet sorry in the next stitch and two single crochets in your last stitch okay and then what you're going to do is go ahead and slip stitch in the next stitch around the brim here okay right here okay not where you started go ahead in the next stitch down below the first row go ahead and slip stitch in that particular stitch okay and then we're going to turn our work around okay and now we are going to work one single crochet in each of the next stitches all the way to the other end okay we are not going to chain one where you slip stitched here just turn your work around and begin a single crochet in the next stitch okay and work a single crochet in each of the next stitches all around Remember to keep your tension tight. This is going to be important in keeping this brim in shape so that it doesn't look awkward. So one single crochet all around. And now we are not working in the back side. That was the only time we were working in the back side. That was in the second row. And that's definitely going to help with the shape of the brim. Okay. If you've already gotten to the end of your row go ahead and wait right there okay one single crochet all the way up to the end don't forget that corner stitch okay okay when you get to the end you should have your work looking like that it looks like it's a little higher but that's fine and now we're going to slip stitch in this stitch at the bottom the next stitch down here go ahead and slip stitch right there okay this is what your work should look like well because we're working with black I'm hoping you can see go ahead and chain one turn your work around okay we're go your chain one again is going to act as your first stitch we're going to work a single crochet in the next three stitches and two single crochets in the fourth stitch okay so that's your one two three and then two single crochets in your fourth stitch one single crochet in the next three and two single crochets in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the next three two single crochets in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the next three and that's your pattern all the way to the end two single crochets in the next stitch one single crochet in the next three two single crochets in the next okay I'm gonna need to pull my thread out because I run out as you can see I'm using the same yarn one from the outside and the other from the inside right like that and this one is coming from the outside so you don't really need two skins of yarn when you're doing this project but if you have two skins of yarn, it makes life a lot easier. Okay, so I have enough. We're going to continue this. 
okay you should end your row with two single crochets in your last stitch that's three and this is my last stitch and two single crochets okay go ahead and slip stitch in your next stitch at the bottom here the next stitch down slip stitch in that chain one turn your work around And you're going to work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around okay go ahead and work a single crochet in each stitch around now depending on how wide your brim is going to be you can continue increasing each row I'm going to go ahead and crochet at least six rows on this this is our fourth row so a single crochet all the way around remember to keep your tension tight even though you see my stitch coming loose here I'm used to this so I can actually make my tension tight Again, if you're not used, go ahead and wrap the yarn around your finger like that. It does really help with the tension and make sure your stitch is really tight. Okay, this will help keep the brim in shape when you're done. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row four. I'm sorry, actually, that's row five because row four was the first one which means we are actually going to work a few more rows so instead of six we'll have eight rows go ahead and work all the way to the end of your row again when you come to the end we are going to slip stitch in the next stitch along the brim down here along the main part of your work that's the next stitch right there can you see it right there I hope you can go ahead and slip stitch Okay. that's what your work should look like it looks like it's a little wavy but that's okay you're going to chain one okay and in this row again you're going to work a single crochet in every stitch around go ahead and work a single crochet in every stitch around keeping your tension tight bear with me Keeping your tension tight, work all the way to the end of your row. Single crochet. And this is row six. Uh, I had initially said we would do six rows. And as you can see, with six rows, you have a shorter brim. If you prefer a shorter brim, then you would pretty much be stopping around here. And I'm going to show you what this looks like um, don't know if it will look good on my head I don't have the dreads but I guess I can always try this on once more I need to pull some more yarn of course this is the pain of using just one skin of yarn if you have two it makes life easier I, I just don't trouble myself with two yarns uh, because many times I actually have just one color in the house and then when I run out then I run and grab another one so all right there we are so at the end of your round six your brim should pretty much be looking like a regular brim if your tension is tight enough you should have a perfectly rounded brim as you can see you see how mine looks now if your tension is tight you should have a really great brim looking uh, right about now again if you have a loose stitch change your needle size to a 5.5 .5 or a 5 millimeter hook and that will help with your uh, tension okay we've gotten to the end again go ahead and slip stitch on your next stitch on the base here and this definitely closes it in so as you can see my brim looks like a, a regular brim now um, let's see I don't know if you can see it let me see if we can put this on my head 
and I can show you what we're looking at. Okay, let me move this chair back down. And uh, that's what your brim should be looking like. If your tension is good, it should have created its own. Um, let's try this on my head, <laughs> see how this works. All right, as you can see, I have a very tight tension here. I'm going to work two more rows because I want my, um, my brim to be a little bit. Uh, let's see, move back down and see on the side. So this would be your thumb here. If you have your dreadlocks, it would be bulging at the back here. Okay, there. And this would be your brim right there. Okay. As you can see, it's come out really good. So let's walk two more rows to create a slightly better brim. If I move it further up, I think it looks better. So let me move closer. You see this? It creates its own wave. And so there is your brim. Let me lift this up a little bit. Can you see? Um, if I turn around, I hope you can see the brim. See that? All right, I think we're doing good. Let's walk two more rows and we should be done with your brim and then you can go ahead and crochet uh, a, a shoestring to add to your work. I'll move back up here and let's see where's my needle. I think I dropped my needle. There we are. Okay so let's go ahead and walk two more rows and we should be done. So go ahead and chain one. Turn your work around. Now we are not increasing anymore. We're just working a single crochet in each stitch around. Your chain one acts as your first stitch as always. So go ahead and work one single crochet all around and one more round after you finish this one and that should conclude your brim. Okay, again I want to apologize to my viewers for not uploading this earlier. I have been incredibly busy and being a mother of two with a toddler it's not always easy to get the time uh, to get all this done, even though I really want to show you what's going on with my work. And my little one just woke up. So, say hello. Say hi. Say hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm coming to the end of my row here. I apologize, everybody, for this, but my son just woke up. Okay, so go ahead and finish your second row and that should conclude <laughs> your beanie, uh, your raster tam basically, and you should have a perfectly good brim. If you have successfully made your raster tam with a brim, go ahead and share with me, I'd appreciate it. And if you do like my work here, go ahead and subscribe or go ahead and click the <laughs> like button. <laughs> Until next time, have a wonderful day. This is African Crab signing off. Bye-bye.